everybody. We're still in our Fundamentals of Engineering Statics section. We're going to take a little break this week, though, from some of the complex vector problems, and we're going to look instead at this compound pulley problem. So again, like a lot of the FE questions, at first glance it looks very complicated. It's actually much simpler than it seems. When dealing with pulley problems like this, it's really an application of Newton's third law. And that's what we're going to use. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So let's start at this pulley here in the top left corner. We're told that the system is in equilibrium. The box is being held steadily in place. We have a force up top here. So let's draw a little free body diagram. We have our force. And then of course we have the other cable going up into the left. And then we have our cable coming down. So if we take our y-axis across this pulley, if we're pulling up into the left with a force F, for this to be in equilibrium, we'll have to be pulling up into the right on the other cable with the same force F, right? So that will stop there from being any torque about this center point on the pulley because the torque is going to be the force times that moment distance. So now if we take our sum of the forces in the Y, we see that we have two Fs up, right? The combined left and right. And then going down to equal it out, we need an equal and opposite force called 2F. So now we've solved for the force in this cable here. So now if we go to pulley 2, we said we have a force 2F coming down from pulley 2. If we look at pulley 2, that means we have an equal and opposite force 2F here. And again, by the same logic as before, if we pull 2F to the left to keep it in equilibrium, we'd have to pull 2F to the right, and then a total of 4F down. So now we've got a force 4F here. We can apply the same principle at pulley 3. We have 4F going up and to the right. We have 4F, sorry, 4F going up and to the left, 4F going up and to the right. 8F going down. Once again, following 4F here, 8F here. Let's take a look at pulley 4. What does pulley 4 have? It's got 4F going here. So again, same logic, 4F going here and then 8F going up. We don't care so much about that one because that's the force here going to the wall again, to the ceiling. So we have 8F in one direction here. We have 4F in the other. So now it's our term to turn to look at the equilibrium of the box itself. It's got a 500 Newton force about its center going down. That's its weight. And then equal and opposite. We've got 8F on this side. We've got 4F on this side. So again, we could do the sum of the forces in the y. 8f plus 4f minus 500 going down equals 0, because we're in static equilibrium. So 12f equals 500. Therefore, f equals 500 over 12 which is about 41 and 2 thirds, 41.67 newtons of force. So now we know what F is up at the top here, and we can solve for the tension in each of these cables, right? We know this one's going to be 2F, this one's going to be 4F, this one will be 8, this one will be 4, this one will be 4, and this one will be 8. So if we needed to, we can now solve the tension in all the cables, but we're just being asked specifically about F up top here. Enjoying these videos? Follow the links in the description below to find out how you could reach out for personal tutoring, like and subscribe to get notified when new videos drop, and comment with suggestions for future topics.